<laughs> for everyone watching, for, yeah, for anyone watching this after the fact, uh, we just finished off this, you know, the story, well, quote unquote story, of the Tyranids. We've already finished with the orcs and the space marines as well. So that means that three factions remain: Chaos, Elder, and the, <laughs> the Imperial Guard. So Eldar. which of them? Yeah, Eldar. The, which of these shall we do then next? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think we did say the uh, Imperial Guard. Hmm. I don't remember which we said. I, I really should keep notes of stuff like that, but bad memory just in general. Uh, so Imperial Guard then? Yeah, let's go with the Imperial Guard. For many people have liked this one, but first, Stand back. I'm going to drink my drink. <laughs> Okay, that'll give me a bit of time to read here. The Imperial, yeah, the, the, the Imperial Guard of Cadia are loyalist human defenders of the Imperium. Conscripted in large numbers, they rely on superior numbers and heavy vehicles. The Cadians have recently entered subsector Aurelia in mass to combat the. Yeah, the, gaunt, the bleh, what is with my throat and tongue these days? to combat the constant Xenos and demonic threats that plague it. The Imperial Guard are commanded by Lord General Castor. Okay, so we're dealing with Cadians before Cadia went, well, poof. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's go with easy again, just so we can speed things along without getting bogged down. And I think I know the perfect name for this. You know, Hey, just stand. <laughs> I and said that ago, before I saw you write that. The demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our <laughs> victory would mark the end of the war for the sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets: Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Sector, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, wracked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches. The Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human. Corrupt and innocent. But I have an ally in the Inquisition. An ally made during my darkest moment. And she has heeded my call. She will arrive in the sector before the Exterminatus fleet arrives to investigate my claims. With proof, she has the power to halt the impending destruction, if she wishes. Okay, so that's how <laughs> that's how she showed up here. Gabriel basically just rang her up, going, "Hey, can you take a look at this?" <laughs> oh God! I, I, I had to say. Halfway through my room, I just I sh shouted, Cadia stands. 
As I, and as I go through PC, I saw you were already typing it. <laughs> uh, yeah. We... We have a mind link, don't we? Perhaps not all of the men of this sector are cowards. According to these cravens, one did not run when ambushed. Not a coward, but perhaps a fool for allowing himself to be ambushed. I suppose we should collect him in the faint hope that he has useful intelligence about the situation. We'll need to move quickly, and there will no doubt be Xenos between us and our missing man. Yeah, now we get to play on, as the Inquisitor I herself. That's the sidekick. The leader of the Xenos that infest this place can't be far. Our missing sergeant may have more information for us. All that remains is to carve a path through these beasts to reach him. I am under attack. Uh, yeah, Rosby, apparently the soldier you're looking for was in the lost game. Yeah, we saw them at the start of the previous campaign, and I'll say it is fitting that we're fighting Tyranids as our first enemy here, and two, two Termagons that we were just vibing, shaking back and forth. Oh dear. This is not your and there he is, our fallen sergeant. Weaker than he needs to be, but stronger than I expected. I think this man can be salvaged. Thank you, General. I thought this might finally be it. Your lack of cowardice is refreshing, Sergeant Major. But your weakness is typical of this sector. I'll toughen you up or use you up, perhaps both, as the Imperium requires. And of course, it's bloody Merrick. Give us the Upgrade his health, and then we're going to get ambushed. Yeah, that's if he... I think I heard Merrick is in Soulstorm? Then, As in he's a reoccurring character. As expected. Can't be sure. To ambush is to counterattack quickly and forcefully. I think so so storm of winter assault. I'm unsure. I, I think I heard it from the uh, Thunder Psyker, aka Kitten, <laughs> who has been making videos on these and recently released now, one on, on well, this objective. game. And yeah, he brought up a, as well that the Tyranid campaign is just absolutely the weakest of all six. Yeah, and I think you recall what he said about the Eldar that they... Are really, stupid. They, they, with this. The, the more, the, I think people will see... Way, on guard. For a the, brave man will not fear enemy fire, but a smart man will not needlessly expose himself to it. Had you been smarter, you might not have fallen earlier, Sergeant. We are engaged here. <laughs> Good point. And, oh, I, th I thought there was a bombardment, not just a crate of canned food for the Tyranids. <laughs> okay, that's to reinforce units. Okay. And yeah, Merrick. Let me actually do a quick look up on this whilst they're bogged down fighting. Uh, Warhammer. 40k Merrick but not Merry Christmas <laughs> it is that time of year but not not what I'm looking for let's see Sergeant Merrick da -da -da -da. we must secure that structure at once we will be able to procure additional forces there Commander here uh, back off with your cookies. Okay, capture. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Appears in Dawn of War 2, Dawn of War 2 Retribution. So, no, he's not a recurring character. We have had other recurring characters <clears throat> uh, who, who, yeah, whose gear we found. And there was also uh, our local Dreadnought pilot. <clears throat> Who was a, an, a character in either in one of the art, in one of the risk-like uh, expansions for the first Dawn of War? Oh yeah. Cadians yeah. reporting for duty, sir. I see oh, you're right. Of guardsmen. He's yeah, it's still just my throat acting up. infantry option. They'll crumble in close combat, but they pack enough las guns at long range that it doesn't matter. On the field. 
they can be further assigned resources and war gear to enhance their firepower. Commander here. Ready and able. And yeah, we already I... have a bigger swarm than the blasted tyranids, I think. No, they, I, I recognize the voice of this both of them. <laughs> moving now. Okay, He's moving along. Now. The enemy is here. Getting caught in the open by those would be nasty. Okay, let's see. Hammer of the Witches. Ignite a single enemy in white hot fire, dealing massive damage and stunning them. <laughs> of course, the Inquisitor is going to burn things down. And Merrick is our Grenadier. So, well, it's been a bit since we've been able to use grenades, so we might as well use them while we can. Uh, yeah, those frag grenades have basically been one of the most useful abilities throughout this entire Something series, huh? <laughs> An orc ship. Orcs have an obsession with salvaged materials. We may find something useful. Kill any Xenos and take what we can use. Commander here. Now is the time okay. to on guard. Yeah, I forget specifically what this guy counts as. Uh, what was it? Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll see. There's there's our fourth character that we need to find. Now, from what I remember, I think they uh, just yeah they got the short straw on personality and such. But we'll see about that. Uh, oh boy, I'm so comfy. Winter blanket, recliner, three pillows. A pint of uh, a peer drink. It's, a peer drink. it's not soda, but it is fizzy. It's not alcoholic. Okay. Who says I mix it with water? Just, just to not make it as concentrated. It just mm. tastes like peer cider. Yeah, there are there are none yeah, there are non alcoholic ciders, so it could be that. Oh, it, it is not, it is not, uh, cider. Actually, sorry, I just somehow accidentally made it taste like cider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the weird part. I just added half the glass with water. That was all, and it sort of tastes like pure cider or perry, as it's called. Yes, perry is actually made for pure cider. Did, did Pastor just one-shot that one? Okay, it was only a warrior, I think, but still. Also, all of you red shirts are in one squad, or under one number. Green shirts, sir. <laughs> It'll turn red soon enough once you <laughs> even stub your toe on combat. <laughs> yep, Merrick, clear them out, please. Meaning that the, the moment they the yeah, meaning that the moment they get into combat, they're going to start dying. And Merrick is also our stealth one, our stealth character, so stealthy grenadier. Okay. But it will be. And you could be able to sneak up down through the grenade after all, so it makes sense. Okay, grab that, and grab that. And we know what's going to happen, we're going to get ambushed, but we're going to ambush the ambushers. I protect the Acadians are all- Take that thing out! I have captured it. It seems that we can upgrade these already with flamethrowers. Take that! A heavy weapon squad would be handy here. This suppressing fire would slow and cripple any enemy push. I recognize these voices. Order some inside, move it. The Tyranids will try to dislodge us from this place. See how many we can we fit the in there? To our advantage and disabuse them of this notion. Okay, we can fit a lot of them in there. Commander here, ready and <laughs> right then. Okay, it is a pretty big bunker. I'll give them that. Do we have a target? You know right. ready. Let's, take cover Let's give one of you Both flamers at least. Is that he's going to equip all of them? Only a few. Go ahead, 
Okay, doesn't matter if it's all of them or not, but still enough flames for everyone. I hear you. Right. Moving. <laughs> and yeah, there's only a few. Get so they do still... Them. Actually, it seems to be 50-50-ish. Hmm. That's, that's one way of deterring things from getting into melee combat with them, which is when they are weakest. Uh, um, are you sure? For those seemed rather eager. True, but it was only one squad of flamers. If we had all of them with flamers equipped, then they would definitely not be getting nearby. Speaking of... <laughs> there and there. Inside, move it. I hear you okay. on my way. Into position again. Ah, uh, Psyker. Oh, there's a Psyker. Yep. Thank the Emperor. Thank the Emperor for these. Turn it loose, you son. I am under your yep. engage. Okay, yeah, I can see what they call it the hammer. This bang dead. Okay, I think I'm going to enjoy the Guardsmen with 50% last guns and 50% flamers. Okay, I get the feeling we might have to play more defensively as the Guards since they are more well, effective when defending and such. But we'll have to see. I, I heard that there are some ways that you can absolutely cheese uh, cheese things with the, the yeah, with our hero characters. Oh dear. But yeah, KBA is probably more good at defensive play. Well, maybe another story we had the uh, Death Core of Krieg. Yeah, they would just send in. It. <laughs> they would basically be putting up. Yeah, they'd be using the tyranny technique. The Hive Lord is nearby. I hear you. Hey, as in, just keep throwing bodies at it until there are no bodies left to throw, or no bodies left to throw things at. Yeah, no, they can play defensive as they are mastered at trench warfare, but they will swarm when the time comes. Yeah. Okay, four and five, all of you pile into the, pile bo the pill box. Okay. Okay, grenades. Holy! <laughs> this wall is a flame. It does seem that when we give them flamers, they don't use their lance guns anymore whilst they have garrisoned. But, well, most things try to get close when you know, they're attacking a garrison position. So, yeah, just a bunch of flamethrowers and a heavy cannon, and basically anything that manages to get close is going to get flamebroiled. Yeah. But see, did we... The ones with the machine gun or lasers will be weak in the foes. The ones that you get too close... Burn. Yeah, they are gone. As you say, they are very much gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, Flambe, well grilled, grilled rare, well grilled, name it. It is captured. Okay, everyone push forwards. And we just set the... We just set that to send in the reinforcements when they inevitably, inevitably are needed. A magnificent specimen. Don't you agree, Merrick? You admire the horror, General? Indeed. Its head will go nicely in my trophy collection. Aim low. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are, Hammerlock? Commander here. Hunting the hive, time for the Emperor, men! 
But that is basically what Caster is, I believe. Just an Imperium version uh, and less, <laughs> and thus less funny version of Sir Hammerlock from Borderlands. And Take a good <laughs> round, man. This is our ideal with Xenos. With excessive flame. Traitors and cowards. All much the same to me, really. The high tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. This beast is strong, but strength is no match for intelligence and resolve. All large caliber explosive rounds, for that matter. Now you're getting into the spirit, Sergeant Major. Oh, the rich humor is strong here in a good way. This ended better than it should have. Considering the poor quality and resolve of the guardsmen here, now that we have regrouped with Commissar Lord Byrne, no act of cowardice or incompetence will go unnoticed or unpunished. With all due respect, General, I've been killing these beasts for a decade now, along with most every other Xenos known to the Imperium. Sergeant Major, nobody questions your valor or loyalty. It is a beacon in a dark sea of apathy and heresy. Which is why I led the Lord General here to you and your men. I am Inquisitor Adrastia of the Ordo Hereticus. The Inquisition is no stranger to this sector, having dealt with Cyrene in the approved manner some time ago. Now they are returning, to apply that solution to remaining planets of subsector Aurelia. You mean? Exterminatus. The complete and utter destruction of every inhabited world in this sector. No one will be spared. Traitor, Xenos, or Loyal. All will die. I think we missed one of the Tyranids, because I heard something growl. <laughs> that Romeric is just very, very, very hungry. Oh, no, that was me. <laughs> okay. And of course, we get the Medipack, which has become the standard first rewards. Now, let's see. Blind grenades, we know what those do. Reinforced carapace armor. Uh, formed of rigid plates of pla yeah, armor plus and ceramide, carapace armor provides, provides better protection than the standard plaque armor issued to the rank and file guardsmen. And smoke grenades. We're getting these real early. Typically, we get these only like halfway through or so. Then again, the guardsmen are not yeah, aren't as strong in offense. <clears throat> so I, I guess they're giving them early so we can make more use of them. Okay. Let's see. Katachan, you know, Katachan Devils, a squad of seasoned Katachan you know, jungle fighters, some of whom are formerly of the Penal Legion. Devils are effective in melee and can deploy several weapon specialists, can detect infiltrated units, or we get a sergeant for the guardsmen. Which would you say? Or Ooh. Let's not forget to read this one. Guardsman Courage. Only one thing stands between you and the slavering hordes of Xenos monstrosities that wants nothing more than to devour you alive. The weapon in your hands, Commissar Tillian. Hmm. We'll, we'll be okay, using the... Go ahead. I would say, this is a tough question here. Yeah, we can pick the other later, but I'm thinking we go for the guardsmen first, since, well, they're literally the backbone of any Imperial Guards uh, <laughs> formation. Yeah. But the other one is good later, I guess. The Exterminatus fleet will arrive in three weeks. I, however, am here on my own accord as a courtesy to Captain Gabriel Angelos of the Blood Ravens chapter of Space Marines. He has a theory about the problems in this sector. It is a very interesting theory, and if it proves to be true, I can halt the Exterminatus. Unfortunately, I cannot prove or disprove this theory without assistance. Your assistance. Why do you need me and my men? Due to the delicate nature of my investigation, I am unable to make use of the normal channels. But you have proven trustworthy and resourceful. With the Lord General's guidance, you can be of great use to me. Which still leaves us a problem of transportation about the sector. We need to move about with freedom and without Imperial support. I am aware of a means to solve this transportation issue. All of the planets in this sector are linked. Teleportariums, created in the Dark Age of Technology, enable travel between planets, if one knows where to find them and how to make use of them. 
One of the teleportarium devices is actually quite near, in a war zone controlled by renegades and traitors. We must reach that teleportarium, and we must move quickly. I, I like how there's just a little bit of reverb in the voices that you, it makes it sound like they're in a big freaking space, which, well, <laughs> they are, probably. Oh, gods. Okay. Now, here we go, as with every start, over you know, going over every character and their perks. We have lo first Lord General Caster with... Troop reserves, calling in a Valkyrie, a Valkyrie for support, temporarily boosts the morale of troops, healing them over time. Sergeant, increase the health of the Lord General. Additionally, squads that have unlocked a Sergeant upgrade gain bonus health. Then we have Commendation. Ability, instantly restore a squad to full health, can be combined with the trait in Will. Which trait in Will? Uh... Uh, we'll, we'll come across that one later. Grit. Increase the health regeneration of the Lord General. Additionally, squads that have unlocked a Sergeant upgrade heal over time. Okay, this is really going for just getting everything with Sergeants. And then last, we have the Refractor Field. Create a, yeah, cre yeah, create a protective barrier around the Lord General and nearby allies, significantly reducing range damage. Okay, this is definitely the swarm path for him. And then we have fire support. If the Lord General equips a flamer, plasma, or melter gun, the guardsmen in his retinue also equip them. Okay. Commissar. Increase the Lord General's damage. In additionally, adds a commissar to the guardsmen infantry squad, increasing their damage. Assault. Increase fire rates of the Lord General and nearby allies. Leadership. The Lord General cannot be suppressed. Additionally, squads with commissars attached to them gain the sum summary execution ability, which breaks expression. And Valkyrie Lehman Russ drop. Deploy a Lehman Russ to the battlefield. Oh, that one we can't ignore. <laughs> then we have aim for the legs. Add a chance to knock back to, knock back to the Lord General's attacks. Voxcaster. Increases the Lord General's right. speed and energy. Additionally, adds a Vox caster to the Guardsman Infantry Squad, increasing their speed. Accommodation. Instantly restore a squad to full energy. Can be combined with the trait. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. They, these merge together into one ability. Okay. Now I get it. Communication relay. Lowers the Lord General's ability recharge times. Initially, squads with box casters attached to them reduce the ability recharge time of nearby, of nearby squads. And the heavy turret. The Lord General can deploy a powerful long-range turret to the battlefield. Okay, we're definitely going for this one at the absolute least. Beyond that, we'll have to see if we go fully into this one or split it up a bit. Hmm... Oh dear. Yes, this this ability is really selfish and since it only affects him. But the later ones, like uh, speeds, recharge times, I'd say those are not as useful, but they will still be better than just abilities that only he can do. So I'm thinking we go down the, yeah, the top two lines with him. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we don't have any he also those... with a sword and a rifle? Yep. I thought he would be running around with a... Would be running with a pistol and a sword, not a... He carries that with one arm. Yep. Uh, one hand, I mean. Let's just immediately go up to here. Okay. Now, then we have Inquisitor Adrastia, who you would assume would be in charge, since, well, she's a freaking Inquisitor, and... Basically, they have no one above them. Uh, let's see. Shield of the Righteous. Cast a protective shield, reducing incoming damage and increasing movement speeds. Fortitude, increase health. If she's not deployed, stormtroopers gain this ability. Or this bonus. Divine protection. Enemies attacking allies protected by the Shield of the Righteous are occasionally stunned. Okay, that makes this one more useful. Divine Intervention, when reaching critical health, Adrastia becomes invulnerable and heals the full. And Vanish, render an allied unit invisible to the enemy for a duration. Reveal themselves if they attack or come too close. Okay, these, sound, these don't sound as useful. Though up to here will probably be good. 
Then we have Burned Weak, Adrastia's Offensive Belt, Ignite, Suppressed, Stunned, or Retreating Units in a Cleansing Flame. Weapons of the Emperor, Increase Adrastia's Damage. If she is not deployed, Sentinels gain as a bonus. Crippling Volley, Immobilize Infantry around the target area. Additionally, Adrastia carries a Bolt or Stay Crossbow instead of a Pistol. <laughs> Hammerhand, Adrastia's attacks deal bonus damage to vehicles and melee attacks have a chance to stun the infantry. If you are not deployed, Stormtroopers gain that. And then Purgatus. Cast a Ring of Expanding Flame that stuns enemy infantry. Units standing on the ring when the ability concludes take heavy damage. Doesn't say if that's only against enemy units, so that might burn ourselves as well. Literally and figuratively. Then Cowards. Suppressed enemy units deal less damage and lose time over, uh, health over time. They already deal a load less damage, so that's basically just a, 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 yeah, damage over time on them as well. Endurance, increase energy. If not deployed, increase the health and everything of the Honor Guard to replace her. Assail, drain energy from an enemy squad, suppressing and immobilizing them for the duration. Demoralizing attacks. The rest of his melee attacks suppress enemy units. If she is not deployed, stormtroopers gain that. And then divine pronouncement. Uh, force enemies in an area to relieve their sins, causing them to temporarily retreat. Okay, I'm a bit unsure about the rest of these, though. Like, up to here on this, at least, is good. But the rest... I think is a bit more questionable. We'll have to see about what other spells she can get then. So now it's up her health. And then we have Merrick back from Dawn of War 2. And yeah, he can equip the heavy weaponry. <laughs> so he, that's probably going to be his stick, anti-vehicle. No. But just to be sure, let's see. Combat zeal, Merrick gains health for every enemy he kills. Fortitude, increase health. If not, Sentinels gain. Jury rig. Uh, okay, so you are our grenadier, our heavy weapons, and our engineer. <laughs> okay, you've been very busy in these last 10 years, Merrick. <laughs> like, he, he's oh, going for a full multi-class build here. And trench. When not moving, Merrick digs in, slowly improving range defense and eventually rendering him immune to suppression and most knockback. If he is not deployed, heavy weapon squads gain that. And rapid, rapid recovery. Heals rapids when infiltrate is active. Then we have flare. Throws a flare that reveals an area and increases the damage enemies take. Dead eye. Increase damage. If not, get a chance get. Headshot. Grants a chance to deal bonus damage to enemy infantry or vehicles. The chance increases if they are near a flare. Okay. Heavy Weapon Specialist removes setup and teardown. If he is not deployed, Heavy Weapon Squads gain. That will be, that would be very useful. And Artillery Barrage. Calls down Artillery Barrage on every active flare. Okay, I thought that would just be on one, but depending on how quickly we can chuck these out... That would be a, certainly a headache for the enemy. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely getting down this line at the absolute least. And last but not least, we have stillness, infiltrate and longer range energy if Merrick is standing still. Resourceful, Merrick can equip an additional accessory. If not deployed, increase everything about the honor guard. Proximity mines, deploy mines at the designated location and meet troops uh, proximity triggers. Silence is able to use abilities while infiltrated without revealing himself. If not deployed, get a chance. Uh, get a chance with sergeants. That's the first time we've had one of these with an extra caveat. Uh, can move while cloaked. And remote detonation. Plant an explosive which can be triggered remotely. Deals heavy damage to all targets in the blast radius. Merrick's default and unlocked abilities stun the enemy infantry. Okay, these would be a lot. These would need a bit more micromanaging, but I'm pretty sure we can go at least to five here, three here, and then we'll have two points left over here. But it's essentially still damn good, I would say. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let's get the flare. And then we have Lord Burn, who must have burned his throat because I don't think he speaks during any of this. So, yeah, he definitely got the short straw on this. Now, let's see. You get draw their fire. 
Order target squad to draw enemy fire. The less take, they take less range damage, but enemies are forced to attack them. So basically forcing one of ours to taunt. Fearless, immune to suppression. If he's not deployed, then Ogrin gains this ability. Martyrdom, whenever Lord Burn takes damage, he heals nearby allies. Stubborn, increase health, and nearby infantry uh, increase his health. Uh, Increase the health of Lord Burn and nearby allied infantry increase his health regeneration. If he is not deployed, Ogren gain bonus health. Okay, so base if he is taking damage himself, then being near other targets to well not who won't get hit, we will actually cause him to heal faster. That's a bit of a difference, I think. And till the last. Executing an allied squad member makes both the squad and Lord Burn temporarily invulnerable. Okay, that would be good when combined with Draw Their Fire. And yes, this, this is the one we've heard about who will execute himself if he's the only one left in his squad. I'm going to try and get that at least yeah. once. <laughs> or supposedly, at least. Then we have Inspiring Strike, damage and knockback nearby enemies, gain, uh, grant temporary bonus damage and knockback immunity to nearby allies. Camaraderie, all nearby allies increase Lord Burn's damage. If he is not deployed, the Guardsman Infantry Squad gains bonus damage. Mighty of the Imperium, execute can now be used to damage and demoralize enemy units, suppressing them and lowering their damage outputs. Okay. Melee super superiority, Lord Burn's superior melee skills prevent him from being knocked back by most attacks. If he is not deployed, the Guardsman Infantry take less damage from melee. And fanaticism. Deal significantly more damage and executes instantly recharges. Ability charged by taking damage. Okay. Execute costs less energy and his bonuses last longer. Endurance. I forgot to read the name. Yeah, orders received. Increases Lord Burns' energy and lets him regain energy for every enemy he kills. If he is not deployed, Ogren become invulnerable while charging. Inspiring Presence, Lord Burn lowers the ability recharge time and energy cost of nearby allied units. Resourceful, Lord Burn can equip an additional accessory, if not deployed, increase everything about the honor guards. And no place for cowards. Execute now applies its bonuses to nearby allies of the targets. Okay. Oh. Hmm. If it's a bit trickier to... on what to pick... Yeah. Hmm. Also, I noticed something about now observing his character. I noticed he's doing a facial expression. They realized oh, his, his face, face is burnt. burnt. Yeah, he he is definitely burnt on the one side of his face here. Maybe that's a claw scar. He's definitely not happy at the absolute least. Yeah. Hmm. And Lord Bur Oh, come on. Really, developers? Really? Let's you name see. Lord Burn? He has I'm a really... cold bird face. <laughs> I'm really conflicted about which one to take here. Hmm. I might... I, be I believe... I, I did some research on possible uh, builds for characters, but that was a bit ago, so I forgot to note those down. So I'm thinking for the moment we don't put points out for Lord Burn. And then after I've looked up those uh, builds, we'll see how we build him then. For now, yeah, though, for, we have equipment the, to give around. For the other three, is the road or east was the, the organized and see all right, how we build them. For the three being really straightforward, but him? Lord Burn is a tricky one. Wait, did, did you just give... You, you, you did just gave Castor a hat. <laughs> yep. Let's see. The Emperor's Executioners on hit instantly kill infantry below 20% health and plus 25% accuracy to, near, to user and nearby allies. The Mastercrafted Saber paired with a you know, rifle bearing the inscription Cowards, Heretics and Xenos that attempt to hide from the might of the Imperium shall be smashed re righteously with the truth of the Emperor. And then we have the Blast Carapace of Resolve, plus 50 armor rating to all nearby allies. Okay, that is going to be useful. Uh, a Blessed Carapace gifted to Lord Caster, uh, Lord General Caster for distinguished service. Its presence reflects upon soldiers... 
that's a misspelling there, sliders of the Imperial Guards, the quality of their commander, inspiring them to survive longer in combat. Uh, Honorifica Imperialis, reducibility recharge of allied units in a large area. The sight of an officer donning an uh, Honorifica Imperialis, awarded for extreme bravery, spurs soldiers in the, of the Imperium to fight harder, reducing their ability to recharge times. And then we have Helm of the Distinguished Imperial Officer. On kill, restore health in the large area and restore energy as well. Okay. Officer, uh, the officers of higher rank and perceived importance improve the fighting effectiveness and longevity of the soldiers under their command. Those that demonstrate their worth in blood further bolster the strength and resolve of their men. Okay. Okay, that hat is way too good to put out, take off. Yeah, <laughs> plus it looks snazzy. And we yeah, already read right. that. I saw something weird here. Turn mm -hmm. him around, to, to, uh, turn him a bit. That scabbard does not fit the sword. Yeah. <laughs> that it, is way too even... thin for it. No, no, no. The, the scabbard is curved. That the is sword well. is not. <laughs> okay. Um, that no must be an oversight. It came from a location between us and our objective. To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promise something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Okay, we know how this is going to go. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay. Imperial Guard versus Imperial Guards, which, to my knowledge, isn't actually that rare. Okay. Commander here. Make ready, Guardsmen. On my way and on guard. Hmm. We'll just have to find the Bane Blades, get chased back by it, and well, we'll see who gets knocked down. <laughs> By, yeah, by our random artillery. Okay, do, both of those are going into melee. And Merrick is lagging behind because he needs to set that thing up and by the time he's done, they're as good as dead already. Okay, you were saying? Uh, I said it makes sense since both have uh, melee weapons. Yeah. Oh, hell, we've been found. All right, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the Bane Blade. We're done here. Back to the rally point. <laughs> we don't have the audience to even scratch that Bane Blade just yet. We should fall back and regroup. And I think we can tell. Yep. Our inquisitors eliminated. Damnation. We can't get through here. Find another path. I I thought I thought that it was burn. Uh, but they're both dressed in black, so I'll take that as the excuse for why I mistook them for each other. Commander here. Ready in it. I am on my way. Okay. I I was this. When Fun Psyker, aka Kitten, he was, I feel like he was very really spot on when he described Lord Caster. Uh, um, World War One general. Yeah. Uh, and then the British variant, who is more who is more commanding for sports than, than actual combat. 
But he, he seems to do the combat part rather well, I say. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was very good much compared to a British army general. Or commander. Along with Big Game Hunter, now I see why after his what he wanted to do with the two of it. Okay, I think for once I'm actually going to make you know, units or extra units on this map early. And just spam, just spam you know, their guardsmen. Okay, I was about to oh, ask where Burn was, but no, he's right over there. Does Burn really <laughs> never see anything? I don't think so. If Caster, you might want to move on and uh, chase after your pet Inquisitor. Okay. Okay, he does speak in those terms, in re just reactions and such. Okay. I do think, I do recall hearing something about the uh, tactic with Burn and Castor. I, I believe uh, was one of the upgrades for Burn, no, not Burn, for Castor that he would cause nearby allies to reinforce. Because that combined with you know, Burns executes would be and the one yeah, and the perk that lengthens the effects of ex executes, they would basically ensure that way, yeah by the time ah, execute is recharged too. Demolish our cannon. Open fire. That, that by the time the recharge is you know, up, the, the 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 bonuses are still going, and that the the missing <laughs> the executed units will now have been replaced by another through the auto reinforcing but i don't remember that i'll, I'll need to double check the perks in a bit and <laughs> inquisitor versus bane blade okay, just keep moving you You're still trying to take pot shots, okay. Commander here, right then. Let's just move on. Still trying to shoot at her. Right. Coming up then. Okay, I think we might need to move the grenades from someone else. You know, from Merrick to someone else. Got the order wrong there. Because if he's going to be our anti vehicle with heavy weapons, then he's going to be at the back line most of the time. Oh dear. Hmm. I should probably give them to Burn or Adrostia. Like, neither. There weren't any. Uh, or saps. None of them have any. Up, uh, yeah, none of them have any perks that affect the med pack or grenade specifically. Uh, you're just yeah, going to them. ignore those? Okay. Go ahead, sir. Oh dear, and... Alright, I guess this will be... Uh, after this mission, we'll be end up uh, having to end the stream, I see. Probably, yeah. Uh, like, there probably will still be time on, until our typical two-hour mark. Way, but it won't uh, be enough for another mission. Uh, we have 11, 11 minutes remaining. Yeah, and I don't think this will take more than five or so. Or seven-ish. Okay, keep moving, everyone. Okay, now, now it's just a shooting gallery for the plane blade here. Okay. And, yeah, also the... Hmm. Okay, yeah, this flare... Actually, has quite a long range. Okay, I thought it would be shorter range. Very good okay. makes sense considering uh, if there is something of very powerful of the pure dog is the artillery. Okay. 
I should set these all to auto reinforce because there are going to be losses. And, and the, okay, apparently they they have repair making as well. It, okay, that was two squads. <laughs> Half of them completely eliminated with one shot. And oh, I. Sp they're taking the shortcut. <laughs> shortcut to hell, it seems. Okay. And more already on. Yeah, this is basically the Imperial Guard way. Just wave upon wave, just smashing themselves against a wall until any, everything on either side is dead or both. Oh dear. Actually, actually, <clears throat> even if Caster doesn't have a perk that auto reinforces, he has this ability to just call in the min instead. Okay, break that. With yeah, let's see. To the attack, kill a coward, motivate their squad to deal more damage and ignore suppression. That'll be useful for getting close to heavy fire. Okay. Uh, the hacker. Okay. Then. Okay, for, for a moment I thought they were the tank w was still playing with the stragglers, but no. And we have one squad that we, it, we already have so many that we can't fit on here. Okay. Ah, there they are again. Okay, now everyone get the hell out across. Hmm. If we had a stronger anti-vehicle unit at the moment, I would take this as the opportunity to try and see if we can actually kill the Bane Blades ourselves. Instead of having to use the turrets at the end. Address you had a good fight as well. Okay. There, just all of them as number five. Okay. Seeing to it. Order, sir. Take that thing out. Take that thing out. It's just a box. You don't need to be that aggressive against it. Reinforcements are ready. I hear you. Right. Moving. The okay. owner of the box was a heretic. <laughs> okay. Move our front line, or rather our supply line, forwards. And yeah, we just keep going on and, and on <laughs> marching into the enemy's flank, the enemy's Bloody fire. Heretics. Oh. Oh. Object okay, we actually cleared that out without destroying the building. Okay. <laughs> Execute one and get the rest of them to sh hurry the hell up. There we go. And the flare comes in late. <laughs> okay, they do take a time to travel, but they actually... Yeah, that's our own flare. Okay, th yeah, that, that actually re harmful. that, that actually recharges the... pretty quickly and lasts quite a time as well. Okay. Oh yeah, if Come if we here. can give if we can give Merrick something that ups his energy now a lot and get him that artillery strike, yeah, that's going to be some very very heavy rain. Ooh. I am on my way. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, no, no I'm sleepy, it's coming. Uh, yet I almost took a half nap today in the midday. But actually, yeah, I took almost a half nap when you took a nap. <laughs> okay, let's quickly move before, you know, until it gives up. What do you mean we can't pursue any farther? We can't let them get away? They can't escape? Okay, we can't bring out any more troops, so let's actually upgrade Caster a bit. Okay. And yeah, this is just a few dozen last rivals firing at everything. Also, aren't you lot supposed to be Cadians? Why do you keep saying that the Cadians want to test you? On my way. See to it. Chaos Marine. Holding enemy contact. You with that one, please. Thank you. Target obliterated. Okay. Yeah, with the Imperial Guard, capturing these is going to be more important since, well, we're likely to need a constant flood of reinforcements. Okay. Did they completely... <laughs> um, I think uh, they may need to work on their aiming. Quite a bit. What the heck? Go ahead, sir. Let's give a bunch of them flamers just for the fuck of it. Okay. Merit, can you focus down that one? Let's see if we can actually damage it and send one unit over to the capacitor just in case. I heard Rogan shout something weird. Hmm? Leg Marines. <laughs> what the hell did it mean with Leg Marines? I think must my I think that might have meant to say chaos or something. I I I heard someone shout something chaos stuff. Yeah, they uh, shout the chaos means early, but now they. Plague Marine. Okay. Now, it's too early for Plague Marines. And okay, we simply cannot damage it. We can just annoy its paint job. Not even scratch its paint job, just annoy it. Okay, all of you make a run and try and break that under your corpses. <laughs> Yeah, we already lost two squads again. <laughs> there we go, yeah, this is the only way we can actually damage it. Would be funny if we could actually try and kill it by our own... Uh, by our own arms, but oh well. So this well, is we can see it. she was talking about. Some of the lads have heard stories of people using this sort of archaeotech and never returning. Most guardsmen assignments have a similar outcome. Guardsmen, the Inquisitor is preparing the teleportarium for operation. Make yourselves ready. We leave the planet within the hour. Oh, these two are constantly going to be bickering with each other. Good show, sir. Victory. And just in time. <laughs> Melt the bombs, oh, we know dear. what those do. Okay. Ooh. Levels for the Aldrestia and Merrick, and a bit of armor, reinforced plaque. It, cheap and easy to produce, Flak armor comprises several layers of a blade of thermoplast materials and an impact absorbent ca carb... Uh, carb... Uh, carb fibers? Okay. I wasn't expecting an eye there. <clears throat> yeah, let's listen to their ba yeah, to them banter. And then we'll go look for someone to raid. 
Yep. At first, Perdition Plate Armor. The Imperial Armor has modified this unique armor uh, plate armor to protect the aging Inquisitor so uh, Sa, who could no longer tolerate chemical rejuvenation. And then we can choose between Kandachan Devils or Stormtroopers. Which would you say? I say Katashan for now, then the elite uh, stormtroopers later. Yeah, okay. Excellent. The teleportarium we have secured has broadened our theater of operations. Well, that's it. Oh well. Uh, really? <laughs> Sword and squick. <laughs> okay, I was expecting more banter between them. And hello there, pizza lover. <laughs> I'm guessing you've been lurking. Uh, let's see, got someone to for a trade, and I was just yeah, just been lurking. <laughs> Okay, feel free to put their name in chat, Pizza. And nice to see you all the same. Yeah, so nice to see you again. <laughs> okay. oh, bloody heck, I'm so... Where did this tiredness come from? Well, you are still somewhat sick, and that does have a tendency to drain fatigue as the, con as the, as the body combats uh, disease and such. So, Let's see, do I've this... I was just fine a moment ago that you suddenly got slammed with sleepiness. Okay, and they suggest the Siren Ivy. Ooh. Okay, hit the mute. I forgot to mute the browser beforehand again. Luckily, it's only an ad, so that's no impact on anyone. And let's see, oh, the dear. Siren Ivy, they're playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is also on my list of two stream games, but it's just that the Witcher games are so long that it's going to be a project to get all of them. You know, to well, go through all of them. Could, you could make them shorter. Probably it's if you try to do the straight to the main quest route. You might be underleveled. Yeah. It mm. will just be very punishing. Uh, let's see. Pizza has been playing uh, Hogwarts uh, further still. I have heard oh, I have heard mostly good things about that game. But it's just, for me, it's part just JK freaking rolling. Like, if I ever am going to buy that, buy that game, if ever, I'll do, only do it at, like, a massive discount to, like, 10 or 5 bucks, because, yeah, Rowling has just proven herself to be an absolute bitch. Anyways, uh, shall we return the favor on raiding Siren Ivy for once, since typically it's them raiding us? Let's do that. But okay. I'm way too sleepy to pick someone else. <laughs> Okay, so slash raid and paste. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, oh, Sensei and Sleeping Beauty Syndrome and another name over there. Uh, I forgot to check bot names last time. So again, if you, if any of you are bots, sorry, if any of you are not bots, <laughs> sorry, because I don't give a damn about offending bots because they can't be offended. Uh, and yeah, and thank you as always, Rakir. You welcome, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, maybe multiplayer. I'll have to check with the others if they want to do Borderlands or an SSC or something else, perhaps. And yeah, Tuesday we will continue on with Sonic. Or not continue on. We will start with Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you see we do double streams next week and the week before after that? No. If we do more double streams, we really should only be for about one or two weeks max, so we don't burn out. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have to see if we just do more of our main quest during the main week, uh, or other things. I'm thinking if we do four streams of Sonic Adventure you know, 2, we'll probably end up burning ourselves out on it a bit, so maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll look at more side quests. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, let's see, Pizza Lover, I'd love to see more of that game, I forgot the name, Apotheon. We could put in some Apotheon streams, because I do want to move on, I do not move on, move back to Dredge and Dave the Diver. Actually, we could, we could put oh. those in the extra times. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Easy solution Sorry, found. <laughs> <excited about it. laughs> Bloody heck, that woke me up, but never mind, they slipped this came back there. Oh, okay. I got a short burst of energy there. <laughs> okay, for now though, let's get that raid started. And so it would be yeah. allowed. <laughs> it was muted enough on my end. Okay, thank you everyone again who has been watching now or later. 
Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Sleep well, everyone. Watch out for undead seagulls, and watch out for flying tyranids. <laughs> yeah, and someone's throat Merrick a freaking bone. <laughs> All right. <laughs>